I wanted to show the, uh, this is a Conso one horsepower servo motor. Um, and this is a, this is the uh, seven by 10 mini lathe. And so what I, all I did here is I, um, I printed up a, a, a pulley. This, uh, this profile seems to match the T5 profile, uh, which you can, you can make a pulley on the Thingiverse. I had to, I had to make a couple adjustments to the pulley because there's no keyway. Um, so I made a pulley on Thingiverse, which I'll post down in the link. And I imported it into Fusion 360 and then put a five millimeter keyway in there and, um, fits great. So uh, I've got it bolted on with one, uh, eight millimeter bolt right into the original, uh, banjo for threading. And, um, over here, I've got the foot control, which I need to change out for a potentiometer. It's a, there's a little Hall effect sensor in here. And, uh, over here, I have the, the actual inverter. So, um, I can't get it all in the shot. I'll pull this up a little bit. So there it is running. There's a little wobble to it. Um, this is the minimum RPM on the motor. It says 200 RPM. And it's probably with the reduction I've got it uh, on the low gear setting. I don't know, it's probably about 15 RPM maybe 50 RPM, something like that. And uh, this has a lot of torque, like I'm trying to stop it with my hand. There we go. So I can stop it with my hand, but it's got a, it's got a decent amount of torque. I may actually need to put another bolt down here. Um, but if I spin it up to the max RPM, uh, you can see, Working pretty fine. If I quiet down that piece of metal, and uh, right back down to 200 RPM. And if I spin it up again, and then I stop it, I mean it literally stops on a dime. So this thing turned out to be a real winner. Uh, very, very much low end torque, and. Um, well, I probably need to either put a spring in here or something for the for the belt tension. Just a single bolt is actually working pretty good now. So I'm going to attempt to convert this thing to uh, to a CNC. I got the pretty much all the electronics stripped off. When I bought it, the electronics weren't working anyway. So I took the motor out, got the electronics stripped out. I'm going to add an encoder up here. I'm going to try to use an Acorn CNC um, controller board. So they get spindle synchronization. It should allow me to do threading. So anyway, that's the Conso motor. Uh, oh, the, the only other thing about this is um, reverse. You have to you have to get over here and hit a bunch of buttons. Um, the thing definitely puts out some heat too. Actually, now that I'm feeling it, uh, it's pretty warm. Uh, it might require a fan to to blow on the heat sink here. The MOSFETs are, are screwed right in here. There's six MOS, MOSFETs here, and then there's a really big MOSFET over here. Um, I think it's connected to the TRIAC for the AC. Um, anyway, so it may require a fan. I don't think that's gonna be that difficult. Um, it would be nice if it had an easier way to do reverse, um, because with the with the Acorn CNC, you, you should actually be able to do um, rigid tapping. Um, but without reverse, I can't really do that. So, so anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.